you can draw this goldfish in Procreate. In this tutorial, we are going to create this beautiful goldfish in Procreate. You don't need any experience with drawing or with Procreate because I will guide you through every single step and we will be using free brushes only. We will be using brushes from my treasure chest, which you can get by going to freefromflow.com. And you won't just be getting brushes, but also my special ebook about color theory. Oh, and once you have finished this tutorial, once you have watched it all the way till the end and you have created your goldfish, be sure to share it on Instagram and tag me in the image, not just in the description, so I will be able to find it. And perhaps we'll see your work in the next You Can Draw This video. All right, are you ready? Let's get started. First of all, the canvas. It's 2300 pixels by 3000 pixels. And I have set my color profile to sRGB. In case you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using during this tutorial, then you can just download my color palette through the link in the description. It's totally free. First thing we are going to do is fill our background and we are going to do that with this color. And we are going to do it on layer one and we are just going to drop in the color like this. But I want to add a little gradient to our background and we are going to do that by using the soft brush which you can find under airbrushing. And we will use this color in the color palette to create that gradient. Let's set our brush to around 30% and the opacity is at 70%. And let's go over the bottom half of our canvas and we'll go up like this, but we won't entirely fill our canvas. Then we'll do that again. Start at the bottom. Don't go all the way to the top. And then one more time to make that bottom darker. And now we can use the Gaussian Blur to blur our gradient and make it more smooth. Just go to the magic wand, click Gaussian Blur, and set it to layer, and then slide your pen or your finger to the right on the screen to blur this layer. Let's go for 47.2% and then just click the magic wand again. Next we'll create a new layer. We'll do that by going to the layer menu here and clicking the plus to create a new layer. And for our brush, we will be using the monoline brush, which you can find under calligraphy. And for the color, we will be using this third color over here in our color palette. For this brush, I have the opacity set to 100% and the size is at 30%. This is a bit of a challenging part of the process. We are going to draw the body of the fish. So you might need a couple of tries. Don't worry about that. We are going to start with a circular form, make a circle, hold your pen in place to make it snap to a quick shape. And you can go to edit shape to adjust it a little bit. Let's go for something like this and then click that little brush icon again. And we are going to add some parts to it. We are going to give it like a weird lemon shape. You're going to add some something to the front. Go a little bit higher here and then a little wobble here at the end. So this is like a, yeah, a very weird lemon shape. You can fill the shape by dragging in the color. And once you have done that, you can keep adjusting. You can zoom in a little bit. You can add a little bit to the body here. And don't worry, you can Rotate your canvas like this to make it easier to adjust the shape. And we'll want a weird looking, like I said, a weird looking lemon shape like this. And if you need to remove some parts while you are adjusting, you can just click and hold the eraser to turn it into the monoline brush as well. That's easier when you want to erase parts. Now, I feel like we can move our fish, the body of our fish a bit to the left. So let's go to the move tool over here. That's the little arrow and let's move it to the left a little bit. So we have some more space for the tail. Let's click the arrow again and let's make a new layer. We'll go to the layer menu, click the plus and we will drag this layer underneath our fish 
layer. And now we are going to draw the tail of our fish. We will still be using the monoline brush, but for the color we will switch to this fourth color over here. And now we are going to make a nice flowing motion for the tail of our fish. And again, you might need a couple of tries. Let's make an S shape over here. Go back up. And a little part here. And then we'll swoop back up and close our shape behind this body. And don't worry if you need a couple of tries. You can just redo. No problem at all. Let's fill our shape by dragging in the color like this. And I actually want the tail to be a little bit pointier here near the ends. Let's zoom in a little bit by pinching out. And let's go to the eraser tool and then go along the edge here. Erase a little part to make it more pointy. You can do the same over here. Go along that edge and over here as well. Now we have a nice pointy tail. Now let's move to the fins. We are going to create those on a separate layer. So let's go to the layer menu again and click the plus for a new layer. We'll still be using the monoline brush. Let's start with the dorsal fin. We'll start about here. We'll make a swooping motion up and to the right. Then we'll go down here, back up here, and we'll close the shape here behind the body. And then you can just drag in the color to fill that shape. And then create one of those lower fins. Not sure what they're called. Maybe a belly fin. Let's go down, swoop back up, and close the shape behind the body. And then drag in the color to fill it. Now for the final fins, we are going to create another layer, but we are going to do that on top of that body layer. So first click layer two, then click the plus for a new layer. And then we can start making those other fins, that other belly fin. Let's start about here, go down, swoop back up, and then go up and close that shape over here. And then you can drag in the color to fill it. Now one more fin on its body. It's like flipper. Let's start about here. Go to the right, make like this wavy shape. Then go back and close it. And again, fill it by dragging in the color. Now we have all the fins and the tail. Let's create its eye. Let's go to the layer menu again. Click the plus for a new layer. And for our color, we are going to use this color over here. That's the third color in that second row. And let's draw a circle. We can use the quick shape again. So draw a circle, hold your pen in place. Then hold your finger on the screen to make it snap to a perfect, perfectly round circle. And then drag in the color to fill your circle. Now we'll create another layer on top. We'll go to the layer menu, click the plus again, and then use this first color over here in that second row. And we'll make a smaller circle on top. Hold your pen in place again. Tap one finger on the screen for a perfect circle and then drag in the color to fill it. If you want to center the circle, you can go to the move tool. That's the little arrow. Go to snapping and turn on snapping. Now, if you move it around, you can see well, like that blue cross. And now you know that it's centered in that, that lighter circle. And then you can go to the arrow again to get out of that menu. Now that we have the base of our fish, we have all the flat colors, we are going to start adding texture. We'll start with the body. Let's go to the layer menu and go to layer two. That's the layer with the body. We'll click it and we will select alpha lock. Now when we paint on this layer, the paint will only show up on that body that we have already created. Our paint won't go outside of that body. So that's super handy when you want to add texture or shading to a shape. We are going to the treasure chest brushes and we are going to use the Is It Grunge brush. And for the color, we are going to start with this color over here, the fourth color. I have the opacity of this brush set to 100% 
and I'm going to set the size to 40%. We are going to lighten up this area on the right, that top part. We're going over the body and add some light texture. And we are going to do the same thing with a darker texture. The darker color, we'll use this first color over here and we'll add that to the left side as if that area is a bit more in shadow. We'll add some reddish tones. And for that back part, we can even go a little bit lighter. We can, we can pick this color over here, the fifth color, and add even more light to its back. Now let's create that area where we have the gills. We are going to the selection tool, that's the S shape ribbon, and then we'll use the ellipse option. We are going to make a circular selection. We'll start about here, drag it down to the right until you have a selection that is close to that fin over here. And now we'll switch to the brush and we will pick that fourth color again. And we are going to lighten up this area a bit. Just go over that edge to lighten that. And then you can click the S shape ribbon again to deselect that area. Then we'll create another selection. So we'll click the S shape ribbon again and we'll make a smaller circle this time. Make something like this, a bit smaller than our first circle. Then we'll click the brush again and we'll lighten this area. Just a lower part. And then you can click the S shape ribbon again to get out of that menu. And I can see a nice crisp edge over there. Next, I want to add some glittery scales to our fish. We are going to use the confetti glitter brush for that. And let's stick with this light orange color. I have the opacity set to 93% and the size is at 58%. And now let's go over the right area over here to add some bright scales. And I'm going only lightly over that lower area here on the left because I want the bright scales to be here in that light area and I want them to be very subtle in that lower area. Now that we have enough texture on the body, let's go and move to the fins or actually the tail. Let's start with the tail. Let's go to the layer menu and go to layer three over here. That's the tail layer. Let's click it and turn on alpha lock so we can add texture without going outside of that shape. Let's go to the brushes and I want to use the spackle it brush. We're going to use it to add some texture. Let's start with this reddish color, that first color over here. And let's go over this area and add a little bit of texture to the tail. We'll add some reds to the top here. And let's switch to this blue over here. That's the sixth color. And let's add some blue to this lower part. Just fill it like this. Go over that red area a little bit. And I want to add some streaks and use the smudgy hairbrush for that. The smudgy hair, it isn't just for hair. You can use it for fish tails as well. Let's pick this second color over here. Let's check the size and the opacity. Oh, the opacity is at 100% and the size is at 50%. And let's just follow the tail and make these flowing motions going from the top to the bottom. Follow these S shapes to add this texture to the tail. Don't add too much until you have something that looks like this. Now I want to add a little bit more of that bluish light to the tail. Let's use the dark noise brush for that. 
And let's pick this last color over here in the color palette. The brush opacity is at 100% and let's set the size to 33%. And let's go over the lower area here to add some bright blue. And it'll remove a little bit of that texture of these red streaks. We'll go over this area as well. Until it looks a bit like this. I like it like this. Let's go to the layer menu and let's add a layer mask. We'll click the layer and we'll click mask. And now there's a layer mask attached to this layer. When a layer mask is completely white, everything is visible of that layer that it is attached to. But once you start painting on it with black, parts of that lower layer will get masked. And that's what we're going to do. We will go and grab a soft brush. We'll go to the airbrushing brushes, use the soft brush, and we will select pure black. You can do that by double tapping here at the bottom. The opacity of the brush is still at 70%. And the size is at 30%. And let's block or mask part of that bottom area of the tail. I'm pressing very lightly with my pen. And we'll mask more of the lower part than of that top part. Make this nice and transparent. But we have blocked way too much this way. We want to get parts of it back and we can do that by switching to white. You can double tap here in the corner and we are going to use that smudgy hairbrush again. There it is in a treasure chest and we are going to draw parts back in. We'll start at the bottom of the tail this time. We make these flowing motions following that flow of the tail or that tail of the flow. And we'll add this nice light texture. We'll do the same thing in this area. And in this part of the tail. Just make sure that you follow that motion of the tail. Make nice flowing motions. And you can also go from the top to the bottom a little bit. Until your tail or the tail of your fish looks a bit like this. And now we are going to duplicate this tail. We are going to the layer menu and we can actually merge the layer mask with the layer. We can pinch them together like this. And then we'll duplicate it by swiping to the left and clicking duplicate. Now make sure you only select that top tail. Then we'll go to the move and transform tool. That's the little arrow and we are going to pick warp. And now we are going to warp this duplicate version of the tail. You're going to move this part up a little bit. This part of the tail as well. And you want to move it just slightly by dragging these, well these corners and these middle areas. Change it just a little bit. Then we'll go to the layer menu again and duplicate this layer. So again, we'll swipe to the left, click duplicate. Make sure that you have that top layer selected. And then we'll warp this as well. And just make it slightly different from that other tail. So that we get these nice layers of tail. And then you can click the arrow again to get out of the menu. And now we are going to lower the opacity of these two duplicate layers. You can click the end and then drag the opacity slider to around 60%. And do the same thing for this layer. Click the end, drag it to the left until you are at 60%. And once you have this nice layered tail, you can actually just merge these three tail layers together so that you have one tail layer. Now let's start doing the same for the fins. 
Let's go to layer 4 first. Let's click it. Turn on alpha lock so we can add texture without going outside of the shape. And again, let's use this pack lip brush first. And we'll pick this reddish color. Let's start adding that to the top here. And we'll do that at the bottom of the dorsal fin. So close to the body of the fish. We'll add the red. Then we'll switch to the blue. That's this color. And we'll add that to the bottom area here. And to that outer area over here. Giving it a nice spackly texture. Now we'll switch to that smudgy hairbrush again. And let's pick the second color over here. And we'll create these lines on the fins. Start here near the body and then fan out towards the end of that dorsal fin. And we'll do the same over here. Make a few strokes going downward like that. Then we'll do the trick with the layer mask again. Let's click the layer, select mask, and then go to the soft brush under airbrushing. Switch to black, double tap here at the bottom. And then let's make the brush a little bit smaller. Let's go for 15% and let's block the lower part of this fin and outer parts of this dorsal fin. And again, let's paint part of it back in by using that smudgy hairbrush. Setting it to white, so double tap here in the corner, where it's not actually a corner, since it's a circle, but you know what I mean. Let's go over the fin to gently paint some of it back in. Giving that fin that nice texture. This one as well. Like that. Alright, two more fins to go. Let's go to layer 5. And again, we will click it. Turn on alpha lock. Start adding texture by going to the spackle brush. We'll start with this first color again. Add that to the top here. And here, close to the body. Then we'll switch to the blue. Add that to the bottom on this fin. And to the end here. Then again we'll switch to the smudgy hairbrush. Go to the color menu. Pick that second color over here. And add some of these lines. And on this fin as well. Then we'll go to the layer menu, click layer 5, turn on layer mask, and we'll go to the soft brush again. Under airbrushing, pick pure black, double tap here at the bottom, and here go over this fin, make it a bit more transparent. This one as well. And we'll make the brush a little bit smaller, 7%. And we'll block this area a little bit so it's more natural, more merged with the body of the fish. Although you could already barely see it because it was so red. Now let's go to the smudgy hairbrush again. In a treasure chest brush set. Switch to white. And then let's go over the fin. Adding a little bit of the texture. Painting it back in. Doing great! Let's add a mouth to our fish. Let's go to the layer menu, click layer 2, that's the body of the fish. Let's click the plus for a new layer. We will click it and we will turn on clipping mask. Now whatever we paint on this clip layer, it'll only show up on that body of the fish. It won't go outside of the shape, a bit like alpha lock, but then on a separate layer. For the brush, we will use the fine liner brush. For the color, we will use the second color in the color palette. And let's give it 
Well, let's check the size first, okay? It's, well, the opacity is 100% and the size is at 14%. And now let's give it a little mouse. Let's start about here and just make a little line for a simple looking mouse. Let's give our fish some highlights. We'll use the dark noise brush for that. And let's go to the body layer, layer two. It's already set to alpha lock, so we can only paint on a shape. And for the color, let's use this bright blue. That's the sixth color in the color palette. Let's make our brush a bit smaller, 19%. And let's go over that lower area, that belly area of our fish. Let's go along the edge, lightening that up. We'll start here near the mouth. And we'll go all the way down all the way to the back here, to its tail, adding this nice highlight. And let's do the same for the fins. We will use the lighter blue for that though. That's the seventh color in the color palette. Let's start with these fins on layer four. And let's make the brush a little bit smaller, 9%. And let's go along the edge, only lightening that up. And here as well, let's go along the edge. Adding a bright highlight. And here at the bottom, go along the edge. And now let's go to, let's see, layer five. Let's add a highlight to these fins. Again here on the left side, add a bright highlight. And then on this fin, we'll do that on the bottom. And then finally, a highlight on the tail. That's on layer three. Let's click it. And then on the left side of the tail, add this highlight. Now the eye of the fish needs a little bit of an extra. It's a bit boring right now and not textured at all. Let's go to layer six first. And again, let's turn on alpha lock because we don't want our texture to go outside of that shape. Let's grab the is it grunge brush. And for the color, we will use this second color over here. We'll make the brush a bit smaller, 11%. And we are going to make vertical strokes through the center of the eye. So we'll make that lower part and that top part, we'll make that darker and add texture there. Then we'll go to the fine liner brush, also in the treasure chest brush pack. Here we have it. And for the color, we will use this fourth color over here. The size of this brush, or actually the opacity, is at 100% and the size is at 14%. And now we'll create a little circle around the pupil of this fish. You can make a perfect circle by tapping your finger on the screen. Then go to Edit Shape over here. Move it around a bit. Like this. And then just click the brush to get out of there. Now for a little bit of a blue highlight, we'll use the dark noise brush again. And we'll pick this blue over here. And we'll go along that lower edge here of the eye, adding a little blue highlight. Now for the final touches, I want to zoom out a little bit. And I want to create a layer at the bottom. Let's click layer one first and then make a new layer on top by clicking the plus. And we are going to set it to color dodge. You can do that by clicking the N and then going down and select color dodge. And for the brush, we are going to use the soft brush, which you can still find under airbrushing. And for the color, we are going to pick the second color over here. Let's make our brush a bit bigger again. Let's go for 16%. Now let's create a slight glow around our fish. I'm using very little pressure because I want it to be subtle. 
So around the tail here, add some glow. You don't have to be super precise about this. Then once you have created that glow, you can go to the magic wand, use Gaussian blur, set it to a layer and slide to the right. Let's set it at 33.3% and then click the magic wand again. Now for an extra touch, we will go to the luminance brushes and use the light pen. The opacity is set to 80% and the size is at 70%. And let's just create some of these particles. And let's actually, let's pick this color over here, that lighter blue. Or actually it's a bit greenish. And let's add these particles. If you press harder, they will become bigger. And if you press lightly, they will stay small. And just add some random particles, these almost like stars. Oh, and just to let you know, an illustration like this, it doesn't just come out of the blue, even though it's a goldfish. I actually had to make lots of sketches, lots of studies before I came up with this idea. Now, if you want to improve your sketching techniques, if you want to learn more, I actually have a series about sketching at Patreon. So you might want to check that out. Now I want to add a final light on top of the eye. Let's create a new layer all the way at the top. Let's click the plus here. And let's add a light dot over here on the eye, giving our glowy goldfish just a little bit more character. I hope you have enjoyed following this goldfish tutorial. If you did, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up or support this channel by subscribing. Oh, and don't forget to share your work on social media, of course. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next week for the next You Can Draw This video.